Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've had a bit of a splurge this week and I've picked up quite a few fashion pieces and I just thought it would be a really nice idea to make these videos kind of a regular thing just so you can keep updated on what I've been adding to my wardrobe and if you like anything then you can go and buy it hopefully before it goes out of stock. So if you want to see what I bought this week then just keep on watching. So the first store on my hit list this week was as always Zara and I picked up quite a few lovely pieces from there. Zara is definitely like my favourite high street store so I always end up buying so much there and I think they just have some really lovely classic like timeless pieces that look expensive but are inexpensive. The first item I picked up was this tux dress and it just looks like a classic tux style blazer but it's a dress and I picked this up because I was actually looking for like a smart blazer and I've seen a couple of people in these tux dresses and they just always look look so smart. So I just thought this piece would be really lovely to keep in my wardrobe if I have a nice event coming up or a fancy dinner or something. It's just always good to have a classic black dress in your wardrobe. I also love the way this fits. When I picked it up I thought it was going to be quite a boxy shapeless fit but it does actually bring in your waist ever so slightly. So it's a really lovely design and I would just wear this with a classic pair of black heeled sandals and maybe a statement gold choker just to glam it up a little bit. The next thing I've got is actually ridiculous because I really don't need them but I've bought another pair of white trousers. Now I think I've shown you a pair of white trousers in every single fashion video that I've done so far but I'm just so obsessed with them at the moment and I keep going into Zara and I keep seeing all these different styles that I love and I can't help but not buy them. So these are quite a statement pair and they're this white chiffon -y fabric and they're really tight on the waist and the thighs and then they have this amazing flared bottom to them and these really are an extreme flare but I think they're so cool they're very like Spanish-esque and I just thought these would look incredible on holiday, even in the summer here. And I would dress these with either like a matching white bralette if you want to go for like a really smart look, maybe if you're going out for dinner. And if you wanted to keep it a bit more casual, then I'd maybe wear like a white t-shirt with it and just tie it up at the front. Now with these, I do need to wear heels because they are very long. And if I was to wear flat shoes, they would drag on the floor. So they're definitely one to be worn with heels. But then I'm five foot six, so if you're taller, then you could definitely get away with wearing flats with them but if you're my height or smaller then you're definitely going to need to wear a pair of heels with them so do bear that in mind if you are going to buy these because they're not going to be like an everyday trouser for you if you're having to wear heels with them. Now the next thing I've been on the hunt for for a very long time and I finally found one and of course I found it in my favourite shop Zara and that is a classic black tux style blazer and this is almost identical to the black tux style dress Dress, but it's the blazer version. Now this is quite a boxy fit but that's kind of the style that I was going for. I didn't really want like a fitted tux jacket. I did want that kind of relaxed oversized boyfriend fit and this is exactly what this looks like on. I just think this is such a great piece just to keep in your wardrobe and you can throw it on over a plain top and a pair of jeans and you've immediately dressed up your outfit. I also just love to roll the sleeves up on these types of jackets and again that helps give it a bit more of a relaxed look if you kind of want a more casual outfit and that is why I love pieces like this in my wardrobe because they can either be smart or casual depending on what you're wearing with it and how you've styled it. Now I did get this jacket in an extra small because they do come up quite oversized. There's no need to go up a size to kind of achieve that oversized boyfriend fit. You can stay true to your size with this one. Sticking with the monochrome theme, the last thing that I bought from Zara were some sandals. I first saw these on a blogger on Instagram and I was on the hunt for them ever since because I just think they look so expensive and luxurious but I think these were only like 30 or 40 pounds and they're just a completely flat sandal with three straps embellished with pearls and the pearls are really lovely as well they're like very iridescent and then the straps actually kind of have like a velvet fabric over them so those two together just make these look really expensive now I thought that these looked like they were going to be fairly comfortable I didn't think that there was much of them that would be able to rub my feet although they are very flat so they're not great for wearing for like long periods of time if you don't like flat shoes because they're quite hard as well but the thing that actually rubbed my feet were the straps 
straps in here so I didn't find them the most comfortable shoe but that was the first time I've worn them and I haven't worn them since so if you've got quite sensitive feet or you're prone to shoes rubbing you like I am then just kind of wear them around the house maybe with a pair of socks to kind of loosen them up because these straps are quite stiff but I just thought these would look really nice with a pair of jeans or a pair of denim shorts just thrown on in the summer and again they're just an accessory that can really take a basic outfit into something a lot more luxurious and a lot more styled up so I had to grab these and although they rub me I am still going to persevere with them now the next thing I got is from Misguided and it's a little bit different from me, it is this red faux leather skirt. Now I have quite a few leather skirts but I definitely don't have a red one and actually red isn't a colour that I tend to wear very much. I think we all know that I love a neutral colour so this is very bright for me. But I just thought that this would actually look really cool just paired with like a loose t-shirt tucked into it. And I also quite like to try and find skirts that can look casual as well because I do kind of get tired of just wearing like jeans all the time so sometimes I like to have a skirt that I know that I can wear really dressed down and make it look casual and you could just pop some heeled boots on with this or even some trainers would look really cool as well so I just thought I'd get this just to have a little experiment and see what works with it and see what pieces I can pair with it so that is my pop of colour for this week and probably for the rest of the month then I went on to ASOS and I think I got a little bit excited about summer and I saw this lovely beach dress and what I fell in love with was the design and the print of it. I just thought it was really unique and so pretty. It looked lovely on the model. And it's just this very floaty chiffon material. And then it's got a waistband that cinches you in. And then it's got these really lovely cut out details under the waistband. And then it just flows out at the bottom. And I also love the halter neck on this. The fabric has been braided and then it just ties in a bow. So it's just really pretty and I just thought this would be perfect for the beach just to throw on over a bikini or even if you're just on holiday and you're wandering around the shop. So this was the first thing I picked up from ASOS. Then I've been on the hunt for a pair of wedges for ages and I've been searching high and low for just like a really classic pair of cork wedges with a tie that goes around the ankle and of course ASOS did not disappoint and I found these lovely ones and they're kind of like a blue like denim fabric and they're just the most perfect height, most perfect shape, they are everything that I was looking for in a wedge. They just tie up around your ankle in a little bow and I just think they look so feminine and pretty they're perfect for spring and summer you can wear them at home or you can wear them on holiday I would pop mine with a pair of blue frayed hem jeans and as the weather starts to get warmer and nicer or if you're on holiday you can put them with a little white sundress or even white jeans or denim shorts so they're a really versatile shoe and they're also a lot more comfortable than a normal heel because you've got a lot more support in them and they also have a pink pair as well that I was really tempted to buy but I just thought you know what I don't need two pairs of shoes that are exactly the same in different colours but saying that if they go into the sale then I will definitely buy them. Then lastly but this is probably my favourite piece that I picked up this week is this top that I'm wearing and again I got this from ASOS and this was in their reclaimed vintage collection and I just saw it and I thought it was so unique and so pretty it's kind of like a really lovely oriental design and then it has these really cool strips here so it's like you've got the contrast of the really pretty blue silky oriental print and then the kind of more like sporty band and the tie at the back and again I would just wear this with jeans I'd wear it with black jeans I'd wear it with blue jeans and you could even wear it with white jeans as well so it's really versatile and it would also look lovely with a pair of white trousers too if you really wanted to dress it up so that is everything that I bought this week. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this style video and I just thought it would be a really nice idea just to keep you updated with what I've been putting into my wardrobe week by week. So if you enjoyed it then please do give the video a thumbs up if you want to see more of this style video and maybe I'll even incorporate some beauty products and lifestyle products too. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye!